everyone. Welcome back to the C Morning Show right here on C Today. We're going to talk about woman who supports woman. Yes, it's probably one of the most popular terms to show support between us women. And in fact, women's empowerment itself has many benefits for women in dealing with stereotyping. Yes, and there's a sports community, women's cycling community, or WCC, that is seeking to do just that by empowering and supporting fellow women through cycling. And that is interesting for me as a woman. Yeah, and we're seeing a lot of this, right? Women who cycles, yes. loving this. And to learn more about the community's activity and their programs, we have the people and also the women behind it, the founder of WCC, Tabita Sumundap, or known as Mbak Tabby, who is here with us today. Not only Mbak Tabby and also her Hello. very... Very handsome uh, bicycle right bicycle. there. Yeah. Do you have so a name for, a... for this yes, dude? Yes, it's actually, um, what is it? Because the color is like peacock, so I call her peacock. A oh. peacock! It's a shuri! Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, well, let's talk about your community first, um, Batebi. Um, Women Cycling Community, or WCC. Now, could you tell us more about this? Yes, so WCC or Women's Cycling Community started back in 2013. Mm -hmm. That is where the first time I dare to try this multi-sports called triathlon. So wow. tri yeah, so triathlon is actually wow. uh, yeah consists of three sports in one. Yeah. Yes. So after you swim in the ocean, mm -hmm. and then you continue cycling, and then you finish off with running. All right. So I have a new role model. But <laughs> wow. So there's a lot of energy going on there yeah. in that one sport. But because of triathlon that I have to do um, training for the cycling leg, mm -hmm. you called each of the sports leg. Okay. So, yes. so I have to train for the cycling leg, right? Mm -hmm. Before, I didn't really like cycling because it hurts my crotch. <laughs> so, <laughs> that is, I found out why, because I haven't done bike fitting. Yeah. Oh. So and then so anyways, back in the days, I kind of have to train for triathlon. So um, back in the days, also 2013, there's not many women mm -hmm. that is cycling, uh, cycling. Right. So that when we train, we kind of join the guys' gang. Mm -hmm. mm. So I was like, okay, this is very depressing because they're all fast and they're all like, like super strong. And so because I'm the eldest of six children, I have five okay. siblings with me. So yes. every time since I was a kid, I like being all together, mm -hmm. okay. barang barang all the time. So I form like a only sh like small six to twelve. Um, girls okay. that can train with me. Mm -hmm. um, this is within your family first. No, no, no. This no, it's is like your like. This friends. is all the triathlete friends that I, I had back see. then. Okay. So we kind of so trained grouping. together. Yeah, yeah we okay. kind of got group and train together. And after that, so we kind of have to do the exercise routinely, the cycling routine. Yes. And then so, uh, plus my background is graphic design, so I kind of like to do logos and. Jersey with the logos and yes. all that and patterns and all that. So I form a small, um, not a community yet, but it's like a small gang. Mm -hmm. <laughs> girl, gang. Girl, girl gang! A girl gang! <laughs> so, but back then I already named it WCC, mm -hmm. Women's Cycling Community, because that's like such a no-brainer, women's, we cycle, <laughs> and yes. it's kind of like a community. Right. So it's Women's Cycling Community with a very ugly logo at, at first. <laughs> and then it grew because it's a positive thing, it's exercising, it makes you feel good, and yeah. endorphins. endorphins. And then it's very positive, uh, all girls. Um, and then uh, after a year, we grew from 12 people to 40. Wow. Yeah. Uh, oh. And then, yeah, and then um, there's many, there's many uh, uh, enthusiasts as well that wants to join us. Um, and sometimes they don't want to join the, the the guys' gang, so they kind of yeah. join us. Of course. And then now we are already ten years. Yeah. Yeah. And how many um, do you have? Sorry. The members. The members. So from 12, 40, now we have 28 chapters all over Indonesia, and wow. we have almost. 3,500. Wow. wow! That's all like endor, uh, All estrogens. <laughs> all <laughs> women. Why nice. not doing that together? Yeah. <laughs> because, you know, sometimes uh, we know that actually any sports is dominated by men. Yes. But yeah. now it really grew. I mean, we yeah. women also can excel, especially in sports. And I think pandemic really plays a big role. Because yeah, I see definitely. during the pandemic, people are more into cycling. Yeah. Um, usually, though, you know, women would cycle in more of a fixie or more of the woman yes. know, bicycle the fold bike bicycle yes. but now I see a lot of women using what do you call this road bike road bike oh, and I look bike. they look amazing I love it when women are using this they're like so, oh so cool okay if I may explain it a little bit yes. the difference between bicycles and their functions so there are um, 
maybe in, uh, back in the days, there's a lot of what you call mountain bikes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Right? Back in when we were... Yeah, with the, with the spiky tires. With the spiky tires and more <laughs> um, 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 bigger uh, stems and all that. Mm -hmm. uh, it's called mountain bikes. This kind of type is called road bikes. So mountain bikes is where you go, uh, well, up in the mountains. Yeah. And basically with um, the surfaces would be... Uh, Rocky. Uh, no. Uh, Uphill. Uh, Oh, like okay. like dirts and like, dirts and yes. something like, like a rocky outdoors, plane. Outdoors, yes. outdoors, not yes. asphalt. Okay. Yes. So mountain bikes are for that. Road bikes are for asphalts and road bikes. Why oh. the, the the ergonometry is like designed like this mm -hmm. is um, to have the the what do you call it the the aerodynamics. Yes. Because this is more towards performance mm -hmm. bike. I see. Mm -hmm. So it's more too fast. All right. and, 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 and road bikes. So th this is road bikes and we have also, also what you call Sally or Spedali, but that's mm -hmm. folding bikes. Yes. That is more... Yes, yeah, Sally. Go Sally. We also have a Sally division, by the way. WC. Oh, you Sally. do too? Yes. Okay. So Sally is much more towards commuting, yes. oh. culinary trips. Easy pedaling here and there. Uh -huh, like that. And then there is one more. There's there's also electric bikes. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, that's me. that's me. <laughs> electric bikes are probably more towards the the more the elderly probably. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> there you go. Or, or for some people who doesn't want to make a lot of efforts, <laughs> like going to the market, like going to the just, just in front of my house. But, but Abby, nowadays it's just more escalated because I see now more, especially from your community, I yes. see a lot of posts where before they go cycling, there's this. Uh, exercise where it's like on a the bike is like still oh, and then like you a have static to, bike yes a static bike and then yes. you, you kind of like the to uh, upheld lower your endurance I guess because yes. they do that for a form of exercise now yeah that is also a form of indoor cycling mm -hmm. um, they have it overseas it's called like soul cycle and everything like that so basically it's a static bike yes. and then there's a, an instructor in front of you and there's Hip music, right? Wow. And you, yeah, and then you do like an hour to uh, an hour and a half cardio yeah. exercises, but it's basically static indoor bikes. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Uh, about this one, how how fast can you go with this? You can go really fast with that, actually. Um, I don't know if if I tell you in kilometers per hour. Mm. Okay, it can go up until probably sixty kilometers per Ooh. hour. So be careful, everyone. Oh. Not me, <laughs> not you. You're an expert on this, <laughs> but well, yeah, it can go pretty fast. On your community, because it's all women, yeah. when they started or they wanted to join or want to know more about cycling, what yeah. was the concern about that made them feel more at peace and comfortable? Okay, again, that this uh, cycling is still a male-dominated sport, mm. especially um, the ones in living in Jakarta or in, in big cities. Our concerns are probably traffic number yeah. one. Yeah. If you see, we call it Dalkot, it's basically Dalam Kota. Mm -hmm. The traffics are insane. Yeah. And we need a lot of education with the road uh, users, mm -hmm. the motorcyclists, and then the, 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 the drivers and yes. all that. That there's cyclists here mm -hmm. and we're not um, machine. We're, yeah. we're, we're using our legs. Yeah. And our, um, it's different because we don't have any honks. Yes. And so be patient. So no, be patient. For the, I mean, other people have to be patient, like, right? It's yeah. like we automatically, in the middle of our, um, what do you call it? Uh, in, uh, what is the hormone that is adrenaline? Mm -hmm. In the middle of adrenaline, and then there is probably a motorcycle, maybe one to bypass us. We don't have a honk. Most probably, our automatic response is to scream. Right. Yes. You know, yeah. and that kind of thing. The, creates a friction between mm -hmm. cyclists yeah. and the road users. Yeah. But maybe what we did was actually unintentional. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so for the motorcyclists out there, uh, we apologize. <laughs> oh, and that's an it's automatic an response. It's, an it's automatic better to response. scream as opposed to you shovel exactly. and then you're going to be exactly. you know, have an accident. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So our community um, also provides like a coaching clinic, or mm -hmm. we we encourage people to not to do that kind of stuff to the road cyclist uh, to the to the to the, ro the other road users mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so we have this hashtag actually uh, 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 sh share the road okay. so cuz we obviously we're sharing the road yes. with the cars and everything and the buses and we do be mindful that if you want to to use the road because also there's um, government uh, regulations on the timing that we're supposed to to use the road mm -hmm. 
uh, please obey that. Yeah. Um, and then uh, again, uh, not to scream a lot <laughs> with yeah. other road users. So uh, we encourage and educate our community mm -hmm. uh, for that. Yeah. And uh, that's why our community facilitate uh, all women uh, only. We're all female. That's only great. Cycling community, and so we kind of empower one another. And we should inspire. get a bike. Yeah, you should get a bike, <laughs> like high school all over again for me, right? <laughs> now, um, we also want to know. You have mentioned some of the problems and also the challenges yeah. um, for us women um, if we want to do a cycling. Now, um, I also want to know um, how did you how do how does your uh, community respond to that and um, um, what is your biggest impact until now, other than you know educating. Um, all the cyclists, women cyclists, but what what is what else that you did so far? Mm. So we uh, our next program would be creating a bazaar. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Yeah, a bazaar because we care of our community small businesses. Okay. Hi. Yes. So we want to help them also to buy from us, from us to mm -hmm. us, and so um, that's coming soon. Uh, but apart from that, also we, apart from empowering um, physically and mentally, because we truly believe if you are healthy physically, your mental is also, you can yeah. think yeah. more clearly in your hormones, women's hormonals, right? Mm -hmm. you know? uh, we can also balance out the hormones and everything. So we are concerned about their health and lifestyle as well. So we try to educate them also with uh, like a nutrition facts. And mm -hmm. Small little things that Body can weight. make a big impact for women and their family and the you know yes. in a holistic ways uh, apart from the cycling itself because to me personally the cycling is just a medium mm -hmm. yeah. for us to improve ourselves yes. holistically. It's an, yeah. it's an outlet. I do believe that women um, have the right to choose their sports. Yes, I do believe that women have the right to express their happiness through sports. Mm -hmm. And um, that's why uh, I'm also uh, very concerned women in sports issues. Yeah, and WCC has been very huge. You know, I mean, it's been a decade, and I know yeah. firsthand that I actually met you before yeah. because the WCC not in a only cycling support event. in a cycling <laughs> event, not only support but also collaborating with institution at that time as Bayangkari. Yes. Um, so how does this? Is this something that you actually foresee when you started in 2013 that this is where you want to propel with WCC collaboration? <laughs> Uh, supporting especially in this uh, sports segment honestly when the first time I established this community I never thought that it would be this big and I will never thought who would ever thought that you would be collaborating with Bayangkari mm -hmm. a very huge um, organization women organization, women by, organization <laughs> by Ibu Kapori yes. herself and then uh, a lot of things we've been collaborating with the UN Women. Mm -hmm. We've been collaborating wow. with a lot of big brands that are empowering women as well. So yes. after a while that I see this impact in the community itself, it makes me think that, you know what? I think this is a calling instead of like um, a hobby itself for, yeah. me, for me. And, say, and, and also when I see the growth itself all over Indonesia and I'm like, Damn, this is, must be something that I really need to be serious about. Yes. And this concentrate. Is, concentrate. This is and it's a decade already and yeah. we have a lot of um, um, dreams that we want to see happening in the future as well. Not just for the community, but for the individuals and in different uh, regions that we already have. We call it sisters. Yeah. Uh, we, we have huge family of sisters all over Indonesia and that's what we take pride of. Yeah. So from which part of Indonesia I want to know that you think it's most beautiful for you to cycle? Oh, I can't, I can't, pick, I can't Can point. <laughs> I can't pick favorites because every region in Indonesia has its uniqueness. Right. Like in Jakarta, Surabaya and all big cities, it's about city cycling. Mm -hmm. So it's all about big, big buildings, yeah. asphalt. Yes. Um, not so much greenery, there's no beach and all that. It's fun, it's challenging, uh, but if you go to, to places like, say, Bali or the beach places, it's different altogether because it's, it's Bali. Yeah. yeah. And when you go to Jogja, it's different again because the culture there is really strong and, and, and with all the, the architectural and uh, the, 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 the Chandi, Borobudur, Prambanan yes. and all that. So you cycle and you go past through all this Chandi. Mm -hmm. It's so beautiful. And then there's a lot of um, um, forest that we can 
pass by and then when and then when we speak about uh, Sulawesi area it's different I went to Makassar I went to Manado uh, I haven't been to Kalimantan I will be there soon hopefully <laughs> the Kalimantan WCC um, so it's different and it has uniqueness of their own so it's yeah. so beautiful Indonesia it's a really beautiful yeah. country yeah. And how long does it take usually if like you guys have any like a touring? Yes, a touring. Um, maybe okay. Our members are really, really um, warriors. Warriors. <laughs> yes. Strong women. I should tell warriors you sisters. back in 2020, we had this because the, uh, the pandemic hits and yeah. then we want to make a campaign mm -hmm. in Bali. Um, by Mbalara Prasetya, she's our head event, Nusantara. She wanted to make like, you know, hey, come back to Bali. Tourism mm -hmm. in Bali right. is, is, is healing. Mm -hmm. So we made a touring called Bali Pulih 1000 kilometers. 1000 kilometers. So 1, check this out. We cycle from Jakarta all the way to Bali. <laughs> wow. I would rethink going by a wow. car, yet alone cycling. No, I, I a total wait. of a total of twelve hundred kilometers. Twelve hundred wow. kilometers. So that's uh, one thousand two hundred kilometers. However, we stop uh, in 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 the in like from Jakarta to Bandung, and then we right. we stay overnight. And yes. From Bandung, we go to Cirebon to Semarang. We stay two nights because it's already been really tired but yes. and then we go to Kudus we go to Surabaya wow. Banyuwangi and then we pass uh, cross to Bali I think so, it was like 10 or 12 days all together wow. 1000 to 200 kilometers <laughs> all girls you're, then. Dreaming. You're, you're pedaling in your dream <laughs> <laughs> I'll be in Sentul I'm like Batabi hold on now <laughs> I'll, be, I'll meet you here bye <laughs> no but I have to say that I only stop at Kudus but our team wow. yeah our oh, team amazing. which is which is consists of seven mature very strong women they're not athletes yeah they are yeah. they are people real people just like us okay but they are uh, endurance cyclists they've been cycling for a lot of uh, years now mm -hmm. seven seven people all from bali uh, 1000 kilometers team they went all the way wow. all the way so how do you make sure that they're safe you know about the health condition and all yeah do you have someone with you that you know checks Check yes, out. we have doctors that checked up on us mm -hmm. um, online and then we also train them because mm -hmm. this is not a don't try this at home kind of thing. Yeah. Right. So we kind of have to train for endurance cycling that mm -hmm. is this long, mm -hmm. the, the distance, uh, probably four to six months prior. Yeah. Oh. So because this is no joke. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Of course. And <laughs> yeah, you have to be on the bike for you know, yeah. long Yeah. And then the team must days. be well selected. Mm -hmm. For sure, it's you can't just pick anybody to yeah. do all the distance. Yes, and um, and yeah, they formed it already 2020, and hopefully we can do uh, 2,500 kilometers in Kalimantan wow. from east to west. Yeah, okay, that's the dream. Is that that's the of... next dream? Nice. Okay. Yes, we'll be following that for sure. Yeah, <laughs> I'll be following uh, on Instagram because I don't know <laughs> if I want to try this or not. But I know that uh, many of my cyclist friends, you know, they. They started cycling and then they um, developed start some sort of addiction to this oh, yeah. um, sport. Now, can you tell us more about this? Um, why do you think we have to try cycling, and um, how does it make you feel? You know, when you're okay. when you're cycling on your other than looking cool. Yeah, other than, <laughs> cool, than looking cool. Strong. Other than looking cool. Well, I truly believe any sports will. Uh, make you feel good because obviously endorphins makes you feel good. It's yeah. a good hormones. Mm -hmm. But cycling, apart from it's so popular now, mm -hmm. and yes. there's a lot of communities that you can join, um, not just WCC, but there's so many communities out there that you can join, depends on where you live, maybe mm -hmm. in um, South area or maybe in Peak area, in Best Day area. There's just so many now. Mm -hmm. um, it makes you feel very confident actually yeah. mm. for a girl like for a, a woman who can ride something like that yes yeah. and then you can achieve a certain target training or distance after that you will feel the achievements makes you feel top of the world right and you're a part of the community you have your new sisters a new yeah. environment and also being healthy you know on, that's a cherry on top of it yeah and you know in regards to WCC itself I mean we wish that we have more time here with you Mbata Tavi but yeah. of course we want to shine light on your big event is coming out this yes. weekend yes it's actually we are going to have uh, what is called WCC Nusantara okay. Grand Tour Series 
Grand Tour. Grand Tour series. So it's going to be in four cities in four months. Okay. So each month, one tour. Mm -hmm. uh, Kickoff in Jakarta on mm -hmm. the 30th of July, which is this coming Sunday. And then uh, 17th of August, the Independence Day, yes. which will be held in Bandung. Okay. And then September will be in Bali. Yay, Bali. And then after that, we'll be in Jogja in Borobudur. Oh. So join us. Really All great right. final right there. So if yes. there's uh, us both and also the viewers <laughs> who wants to join you as the sisters of WCC, yes. where should we go? Yeah. Um, just go to our Instagram. It's at wcc.jkt. Uh, yeah. And you can just DM us, and then we will, um, our admin will ask where you live, yes. uh, or in Jakarta maybe, or where else, uh, all over Indonesia. And then we will add you to our WhatsApp group what, right away. There's there's nothing more. You just need, <laughs> do you need a bicycle? Yeah, any kind. Any, any kind. Any kind, kind, okay. any kind. Okay. All right. I'll be there with my e bike. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so That'll much, Madhavi. Thank you so Thank much you for, for the opportunity. So much, <laughs> Thank you. Such an inspiring role model, by the way. Yes. All right. All right, now let's take another break, but we will have a recap of um, news from our previous segment. So stay with us on the Steam Morning Show. So, any